So this piece is, I think, about uh, seven and a quarter long and about five inches cross section at the biggest. I'm going to mount it between centers. I'm going to get a tenon on this end and reverse it. And I am going to be mounting it way off center because I want to make an emerging goblet with the base shifted way away from the center of the goblet. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. If I have enough stock in there, I hope I do. So I have this drive center that I made. It has, it has uh, four spurs in there. It really, really uh, grabs it quite well. Okay, it's in between centers, and it is offset quite a bit, but I'm able to get 450 RPMs, 550, it's, uh, it's almost two inches from being centered. So I'm going to just take my time, slowly whittle this thing down and get a tenon on here and get it mounted nice and secure. I cut a tenon in here and I'm working on getting the angle to match the dovetail portion of my jaws which is going to be clamping around this tenon and just the fact that it's going to hang out there and I'm going to try to turn something either a vase or a goblet off center I want that to be held securely. But I think this is going to have some really nice grain. The last piece of locust that I turned I had some gorgeous grain so now I'm going with the grain on it, it's going to be different than a bowl. I have that big chainsaw cut in here and I'll have to work around what that is. Okay, I flipped this around. I'm using my heavy set of jaws, which have the full dovetail on the inside. Looks like they fit good. I'm going to get this cinched up here. Tighten it up. Get that nice and secure. I don't plan on taking that out until we're done. <coughs> yeah, let's see how it spins. Same as the other way, but I got 650 RPMs there. I'm just going to start taking some of this diameter away and get it round. I've got that crack that comes down here right now about 3 inches, but uh, I might shorten the, the whole job. I'm not sure yet. All right. About 580 there. A uh, lot, lot bigger diameter than what I was expecting up on the top. Okay, let's uh, take another inch of this away. Here's kind of my plan. I have this on, a, on an angle right there, so that's what I want to keep. It's just how far down can I go here, and I, I want more. 
everything seems to be pretty secure there. I've got a branch sticking out there. I don't want to go past that. That could be where this edge here goes to and then we'll decide what sort of an angle. You can still see that chainsaw cut but that's not going to affect me at all. Alright. Let's sneak down there. I've got seven hundred now. I'm gonna take some of this out. I still got some of that chainsaw kerf there. But that's alright. This needs to get smaller just to have the overall effect. I'm still working on whether I want it to be a goblet or kind of a maybe a little vase. Let's get some more off of here. Just about. Oh, that's going to be really pretty there. I'm thinking the more of this I can leave, the prettier it's going to be. That's a nice nice little knot coming off of here. Oh, I think that's going to be nice. I just don't have to think about this. All right, I've I found something that I want to do. I have this real light colored plain looking wood right here and I have this really nice wood well I got to looking at the end of this I only have to take an eighth of an inch off of here and this is going to all be dark and I think if I just keep cutting down until I have all dark wood that's the beginning of me getting a shape that I want but and this is oh that's going to be nice there that's going to be real nice all right, I'm going to take a little break. It's cold, it's snowing. I'm going to go have a cup of coffee. All right. See how much it's going to take to get rid of this lighter colored wood. The most I would leave is a real thin area, but I'm not sure I even want to leave any of that. I end up leaving just a small area of that light wood. Okay, I'm going to see how this end grain cuts. This will be the first end grain I've cut on locusts. I'll decide whether I want to drill some of that out or just see if it'll turn out. I tried to turn it out, but it was extremely hard wood right there, and I decided it'd be safer just to drill this one, and maybe the next one I'll try a little harder on turning it. Well, I've drilled it out and I'm going to use this uh, brown carbide as kind of a hollowing tool. This end grain on this is pretty tricky. I have this little cone that I've used for various things. See how it works to stabilize that tip for now. I'm going to just 
just take a little bit of this out of here. Seems pretty happy at about 700. I'm going to start working a little bit of this off underneath this cup. I like the tool rest out here to guard this oddball shape there, but then I'm not going to be able to reach in. So I'll be turning left handed with this and take some of that away. I spend some time here searching for the shape I want. I just am not sure what I want. But I found it. I cut the base off to see what it would look like without it. After looking it over, I decided that maybe having about a sixteenth of an inch of that base would give it a better effect of emerging from that branch. I think I want the little rim on there. It's not going to need to be very much. Yeah, I'll take a take a little off of this and get that back on. Nothing lost. Before I do that, I might want to flatten just flatten a little of this off. I'm going to take this little wire brush and clean all the loose fuzzies off of this bark. Then I'm going to coat it really good with some lacquer. It's pretty crumbly and I'm hoping that the lacquer will toughen it up a little bit. Okay, I sanded up that coat of lacquer that I put on, toughened up this this bark on the outside. This is pretty soft, but it actually is 
worked pretty good. It became sandable and I've leveled it out. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep going with using lacquer on this. Why well, I, I sure like the color it gives it. It doesn't really change the color, it just brings the color out. I cut this cardboard out so I could pull it against the bottom of this turning. I don't want to spray lacquer all over my chuck and all over the lathe, so I'll do this. I just want to get that bark sprayed with some lacquer. Not quite ready to take it out of the chuck. Here's the uh, finished emerging goblet out of locus. Most people are saying that it's black locus. Uh, you can see the grain structure on the bottom. It looks a lot like the bowl that I, I uh, previously did. I left this little branch coming out right here and the bark has got a lot of stuff going on around the edges like so. I like how it turned out. It finished nicely. It's a very hard wood. I sprayed it with lacquer. I brushed on a number of coats, handed it, and then I finished spraying it so I could get the bark with lacquer. So I'm very happy with it. I hope you like it. If you did, uh, Click like and share and subscribe if you haven't already. And for everyone that is subscribed, I thank you so much for watching my videos. And we'll see you the next time. Thank you.